Again, I have not been in the sun. I'm still going. Hi Vogue, I'm Toni Garn, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a sun-kissed makeup look. I love to do this look when I actually have to go out to go to a little event or meet some people and I just need a little bit of color. So first I'm gonna start with a toner because I think it's important to just freshen up the skin again from the night before, just like a nice little base. And I just kind of really go everywhere with it. I have such light skin, I'm probably gonna completely blush up and get super red right now. Welcome to my life. And the next thing I'm gonna use is a hydraulic serum because I think it's very important to get an extra layer of moisture before any kind of cream. And again, it just goes kind of everywhere. I have really dry skin, so extra moisture is always important for me. Okay, just gotta let it sit for a second. I think I used too much. Okay, I think it's good. Next, I use a moisturizer. Kind of everywhere. You get it, my skincare routine is not exactly very precise. I put everything everywhere. Makeup artists are probably like, no, that's just for the eyes, or no, that's just for the forehead. I always say everything that doesn't sting is okay. As soon as you feel something, I take it off. Everything, right away. That's something my mom taught me. Then, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a little cold sore last week. It's right here. Really annoying at work and in my job, but I just have to live with it. So what I do is tons of lip balm to hide it a little bit. Not to just make it better. Make it go away faster. I don't like using heavy, thick foundation, so this is more of a tinted moisturizer. You see, you can barely see it. It's just something that evens out everything. I also always love to wetten this guy. It tends to blend in everything better. Okay, so now that I have the base, I need, I think everyone needs this, to cover up under the eyes. It's always a little bit lighter under the eyes than everywhere else. I also kind of love to use this concealer for under the eyebrows. That's something I learned during Fashion Week. People always do. Highlights the face, makes everything go a little up. Now I'm gonna do a little more cover up. <laughs> what else, this guy? I'm seeing way more things today that I haven't seen in a while. Thanks, thanks, Bo. I think that's doable. That's leave the house a bowl. Um, next, I am quite hot right now and I don't want it to be too shiny, so I'll just give myself a tiny bit of powder on the T-zone, as they always say. Well, I'm doing more like an XYZ zone right now. T-zone is meant to be boom, boom, but I'm literally going everywhere. Makeup artists, please don't scream. Okay, so now I think my base is done, my base is good. Now, the most important thing, nothing works in my life without a good eye life curler. I like to just put it on and then I literally walk around the house like this and just do whatever and just let it sit there. <laughs> and so this guy is very important to me. I have a few of these in every single makeup kit. So normally I do a shit ton of mascara because there is going to be a lot of bronzer. I'm just going to try to the roots and make them a little darker. Also less messy because normally I mess up my entire face. And like this it just kind of stays. All right, I think it's time to do the bronzer. I love to put it in the contouring spaces and the cheeks. I mean, you really need a lot of it for this look, especially since I'm super pale right now. But then also definitely all over the forehead because that is where when you're a little sun-kissed, that is where it goes first. Just find yourself a beautiful bronzer that suits you that really just makes you look like you're sun-kissed. If you do it in the corners on the top, it kind of gives you this contouring look and you have to do less highlighter after. All right, I think this is definitely a look where you can leave the house and it's way too much or you can barely see it. So it's always important to get different angles, different lighting. I think what's important with this one as well is to get a little bit of a nude natural lip. So let me look for the right color. This one is really nudey. This is a little more color. I normally end up mixing all of them and putting them on top of each other. So let's see what this one does. This is more of a lip balmy lipstick, which is really nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of the other one as well to mix the two. All right, I think, I think I'm good to go. Sun-kissed look, almost looked like I just came back from vacation. <laughs> almost. Hi Vogue, I'm Tony Garn, so watch more looks, subscribe right here.